Hello, it's Emmy from Curly.com. Today's project is a quick and easy pair of shorts. I made mine from this funky pattern knit fabric, but this basic method of making shorts adapts well to almost any material. The best part about this project is it can be completed in under an hour and the materials are super cheap. Okay, let's get started. To make these shorts, you'll need some comfy fabric, you're going to need at least two-thirds of a yard, matching thread, a marking pencil, a good pair of scissors, pins, some kind of cording or drawstring, and elastic. You're also going to need a sewing machine. To begin with, grab a pair of shorts that you already own that you know you like the fit of. Fold the shorts in half and then we're going to create the pieces. These shorts consist of four pieces with two in the front and two in the back. Lay your fabric right side down and place the folded shorts on top. Next, you're going to trace around the shape of the shorts. I was initially going to use my marking pencil, but I forgot that the back of my fabric was white, so instead I'll be using a marker. My old shorts have an elastic waist, so I made sure to stretch them to their fullest extent before making my mark. When tracing, you'll want to give yourself a seam allowance, so make the outline a half an inch or so farther away from the shorts. I wanted my new shorts to be a lot longer than the ones that I'm using to trace, so I drew the leg down much longer. For the waistband, extend the outline a few inches above the original one because we're going to be folding it over elastic later to create the waistband. Now grab your scissors and cut out your first shape. Using that shape, you're going to create three more for a total of four. You want two shapes facing one direction and two in the opposite direction. Take one of the pieces and lay it face up and then take an opposite piece and lay it face down on top. Next, pin along the curved side of the pieces and then sew along this line. Since I'm using a knit stretchy kind of fabric, I'm also going to be using a zigzag stitch for this entire project. Take the other two pieces and pin and sew them the same way you did the first. And now you should have the front of your shorts and the back of your shorts. Lay one piece facing right side up and the other piece facing right side down on top. Pin the legs together. Then you're going to sew along the pinned line, creating a kind of triangle shape. Now you're going to pin and sew up each side. Alright, your shorts should be beginning to take shape. With the shorts inside out, pin and hem the bottom of each leg. Now to the waistline. You'll be folding the waist down on the elastic, so make sure you leave enough room for the elastic to sit freely before you start pinning. Leave an opening in the hemline on the back of the shorts. This way you can feed the elastic through the hole in the hemline. Take your shorts to your sewing machine and stitch along the pinned line. Now you'll need to cut your elastic to size. I'd recommend just holding the elastic around your waist to see what's comfortable for you. You want it to sit taut, but you don't want it to squeeze your hips so tightly that it's uncomfortable. Once you've figured out what length your elastic needs to be, you're going to feed it through the waistband. For this part, you'll need a safety pin. The bigger you can find, the better. Attach the safety pin to one side of the elastic and then use it to guide you through the waistband. Once both ends of the elastic meet up again, you're going to sew them together and then finish the stitching on the hemline of the waistband, closing that opening in the back. 
At this point, your shorts are pretty much done, but if you want to add a drawstring, it only takes a couple of minutes longer. On the front of the shorts, cut two very small holes along the waistband, but only through the top layer of fabric. You don't want to cut through the elastic or through to the back. Just as you did with the elastic, attach a safety pin to the drawstring and feed it through one hole and out the other. To prevent the string from fraying, tie a knot on each end. And now you're the proud owner of a brand new pair of shorts. If you liked this tutorial, give this video a like. We have lots of tutorials on our YouTube channel and even more on our blog over at Kerbly.com, so I recommend you check that out too. Thanks for watching and happy sewing!